Event driven Ansible for Windows with a little bit of AI for some ticket enrichment. So let's go and have a look at what we want to do. We have a Windows system, we have EDA controller. We're listening for Windows events. When someone creates an AD account, we will pick up that event. We will then run a job template from our automation controller and we'll build out a ticket. Right, so let's go and have a look. We're going to run our EDA controller. As you can see, we have a rule book running. We are listening for events. So any type of event from the Windows servers has already been checked, but we're going to look specifically for these. So if you have a look at the first condition, we're looking for an actual event ID, 4722. And this is typically the ID that we see when we create brand new accounts on AD. So when this takes place, we want to do something. So let me fly in my uh, my Windows server here and we now have the Windows server. We have our Active Directory utility where we're going to go and add a user. Yes, we could have done this through an Ansible playbook, but we want to use some of the tools that a typical admin would be would be using. Right. So I'm creating this account. And when we create this account, obviously these events are being filtered and they're being checked through through EDA. We're listening for these events. So when these events come through, hopefully we will match that event ID that is specific to create in an account. And from there, we can go ahead with our next step, which is just a simple task of ticket uh, creation. Right. So we can see we created the account. We have updated quickly our source control and now we're running that playbook. Now the playbook itself is, is creating an incident ticket inside of service now. But the cool thing is we're going to be using all of the information from the payload. So let's go and refresh service now and you can probably see a brand new ticket. The user account management that's coming from the event payload and this information that we see here regarding the actual account it's all being harvested out of the event payload that's been sent to to the eda controller so even though we're doing something simple this could be really powerful now let's spice it up a little bit so what are we going to do here we're going to do the same thing except this time we're listening for firewall events something a little bit more interesting and we're going to run and trigger a job but the job is actually going to query chat gpt um, because sometimes, you know, maybe we don't actually know what the event means. So if we look at the code for the playbook that we're going to respond with, you can see I'm actually asking via API ChatGPT, hey, what does this Windows event actually mean? So this way we can get some kind of description. Maybe we could even ask, hey, can you give me five possible solutions for an error? And actually harvest that error or harvest that information and put that as part of the ticket. That could be a really great way of enhancing or enriching the troubleshooting process. So now on my controller here or my system, I'm actually switching on my firewall and you can see the secondary event from the previous, uh, from the, the rule book itself, you can see that we're actually searching specifically for anything to do with the firewall service, right? That is our second condition. So now that we've done that, let's go have a look at our automation controller. Let's go look at the jobs to see if anything is triggered. And we can see that we now have a Windows enhanced ticket job that's now going to be triggered right again we picked up the firewall event but now part of this is we're going to go and actually query chat gpt oh there we go we get a response from chat gpt to say this is the information now all that we're going to do with that is we're going to actually embed that so let's go and refresh our service now instance to see if we have a new ticket there we go and let's go into that new ticket to see what information we have. There we go. We have the actual description for that Windows event by querying AI and embedding that then into a ticket. So this is a great way that we could actually enrich the whole ticketing process by using event-driven Ansible, using tools like AI, and obviously building out more information which would be more beneficial to our teams.